Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you a new functionality in MeshMore 4 uh, which allows us to export the uh, quad OBJ files, right? So we can export the meshes as quads in uh, uh, OBJ exporter, right? So let's uh, let's see how this works. Uh, we open our MetaHuman head, just uh, the usual. We go to export to OBJ. Uh, you have here this option quad export and if you uh, enable it uh, new options will uh, display so you can uh, play with these options and uh, do whatever experiment or whatever uh, each uh, option here has a tooltip so you can understand uh, what it's doing right so I'm gonna leave the default op uh, default options and uh, I'm gonna append the body because I want the full body met uh, meta human and I'm gonna weld it as well, right? So let's uh, let's put a vertex tolerance vertex tolerance of 0 0.01, and uh, let's uh, let's see how this goes, right? Uh, we can uh, select a new uh, name, just a name, so you can identify it easier. Let's press OK. And now we can test it out, right? We can uh, check our uh, file. Let's open Blender. And let's open our OBJ file, which is a Tore Quad full OBJ, right? So let's, uh, let's see how this looks. This is our uh, quad uh, OBJ file. Uh, we can uh, check it out by going to edit and see everything. You can see these are quads. There are certain areas where a quad uh, cannot be formed and you will have a triangle, but uh, uh, that's uh, just the way it is, right? With these uh, meshes. And uh, we can also open this in uh, ZBrush. Let's go ahead and open ZBrush. It takes a little bit to open it. Let's close this and let's import our uh, OBJ file, which is this one, right? Let's uh, edit a little bit, just some quick stuff. We don't really care, right, too much, just so we can experiment uh, our quad sculpting here. I'm just gonna add some stuff here on the uh, boundary so we can see how it uh, imports back in mesh morpher i think this is it let's export this okay and if uh, we go back in mesh morpher we can select our files the Tore Quad Full is our our initial mesh, our original mesh, and uh, we can select also now the morph file and just pick a name, right? Okay, this has been created correctly, and uh, let's do the same for the body. We will use the same same files for the body as well. Right. And the morph one. There you go. Now we have the body as well. Let's see how they uh, uh, blend together, if uh, there's any gaps between them. 
And as you can see, our uh, deformation has been imported uh, successfully in, uh, in the engine. And uh, we can go ahead with the baking or whatever fitting skeleton or uh, wh whatever uh, we plan to do, right? So this is it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you uh, this uh, quad exporter in uh, Mesh Morpher. And uh, see you around.